Today, I'm going to drive Shreya's test route and show you where she failed, you sausage Shreya. Um, I'm going to talk myself through what I see and what I do to help use learners. And I'm going to point out where she failed. Um, so I'm going to do the full route and I'm going to make her watch this. And this is how it should have been done. But I'm at the test centre now. It's a test was was 11, 11. It's 11 minutes past, seven minutes past 11. So I'm going to talk myself through things and do our route and show you where she failed. So if I commit any faults, I'm hoping to do it without any faults, but I'm not perfect. So I might be, I might make faults, but if I do, then I will tell you and explain what I've done wrong. So she was sat nav. Uh, um, I think she got pull up on the right. She didn't do the emergency stop. So I'm just going to go around the route where she went. So imagine I'm on my driving test, got the examiner sitting next to us. I'm just going to do it on the sat nav. So I'm the exam is drive on when you're ready. Just looking all around the car. And I just edge slowly forward, a little bit tight clutch control here. And I'm going to turn right. So I just look at the mirrors, get the signal on. Now I can come up really, really slow here. And I can see it's clear. You've got three cars in front, but there's nobody in them. And then we're turning left. So then a signal, just looking to the right, just slowing turn right down to stop. And just holding the, the little grid, gas on, hold the clutch right. to move off so it's lovely and smooth. Then it's right. right. St. John's Road. So we've got the mirrors in, signal, the clutch goes down first and then the brake. And I just stop because I can't see properly. Lean the top off of my body forward and see it's clear. Just gas, clutch and hold that clutch as it moves so it goes off lovely and smooth. Check the middle mirror straight to same gear. There's nothing behind, there's nothing to the sides. I've got a lovely clear road. So I'm up to 28 miles per hour in third gear. We've got the brow of the hill, we've got junctions to the right and left which are all clear. It's a Saturday by the way, Shreves was a Friday so it might have been a bit busy on her test. <coughs> so we've got the road bending to the left, I'm at 30 miles an hour. Got a mirror check, nothing to the sides, nothing behind. Just foot off gas as I go around. Lovely smooth steering. See a parked car up ahead with a couple of junctions left and right. So I check my mirrors again, nothing behind, nothing to the sides. Now I'm listening for the sat nav, 29 miles an hour, another learner up ahead there. Quick glance in their mirrors, the airline's got the indicator on. So I'm looking to see how much space I give them, the end of about the a metre, right more than a metre. So the sat nav said turn right, so it's check behind again, nothing following, nothing overtaken. Signal goes on. And it's a closed junction, 30 signs up ahead, so I'm just right. looking for a smooth stop with the roll in first, just lovely and smooth. See a van to my right, so the park brake goes on, pimp of the gas, lean the top half of my body forward, clear, just go, oops, I'm not going to go. Now I can see why I use learners, um, don't like this junction. So lean forward a bit more, I'm right up to the white lines, clear second gear and then a mirror check nothing behind nothing to the sides now we're going downhill we've got a pedestrian crossing the road you want to run some mirrors and we've got a park car to the left got the amber lights when they're flashes just an advisory we've got the road going uphill pedestrians no pedestrians to left or right check the mirrors again to move out it's coming over the brow of the hill, I've got a junction to the right, that car might pull out in front of me. I've got a van on the left hand side. And we've got a bus stop, we've got a junction to the left, we've got park cars to the right. I thought it'd be a bit busier than this. Now looking well ahead I can see a pedestrian crossing. So when you see a pedestrian crossing then you should look in the middle mirror. Now I've got a car following, it's about four bus lengths back. And I'm starting to scan the crossing, my speeds are 28 miles per hour. And there's nobody at the crossing, so I'm just going to keep the 27. We're starting to go downhill. You've got a lot of parked cars, you've got a lot of oncoming traffic. Car behind is about one and a half bus lengths back now. Pedestrian activities to the left, speeds at 26, back up to 28. Got a junction to the left, junction's right, clear. We've got height restriction signs for the bridge, 
and I'm sitting at 29 miles, 9 miles per hour and I'm listening carefully to the sat nav. I tend not to look at the sat nav, I tend to listen. The only time I look, my speed's gone to 31, so I get straight back to the brake. I tend not to look at the sat nav, so I use learn to steer. And I tend to just listen. Sometimes if, I, if I'm not sure, then I'll have a quick glance. We've got a bus lane to the left. I'm checking the mirrors again. The car behind is what one, one and a half bus lanes back. We've got 40 signs. So I'm going to look at my mirrors again. It doesn't look like anybody's going to overtake. I cannot really accelerate because of the car in front. Otherwise, I would be up at about 36, 37 miles per hour. So I'm only stuck in third gear. I'm looking for signs. Checking the mirrors again. Got After a nice. 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit. A690, Nettles Cross Bank. Then no. turn right. Now it said turn right, so I'm going to leave in the right lane, Shree. I'm not going to go back or left. This is where Shree failed. So I check my middle mirror. I'm just a very light pressure on the brake. Drop that into second gear. Bring that cross clutch up and hold at the drying and point. The Have a look to my exit. right. Then Clear. Turn right. So check the middle left door mirror. Now this is what she done. She went into the right lane, and then she went over to that lane there with this blue car coming Turn past. Right. Then That's she went back right. to that lane. How on earth could you do that, Shreya? You need to go and see a doctor. You really do. So safe to go, nice and smooth as I pull round. Park car on the left. Check my mirror. There's a car following bus length away. Check the mirrors to move out. There's nobody in that car can see through the back passenger window. Now I'm into third gear. I wouldn't go into third gear. Learners like to go into third gear far too early when they're going uphill. You need to build more speed up because as soon as you put your clutch down, the car's going to lose After speed. 300 yards, go straight on Potter's Bank. So more podcasts to the left. So we're checking the mirrors. Got oncoming traffic, possible meeting situation. Just to put off the gas. Yeah, it doesn't look tight enough, so I'm not going to risk that. I'm just left the centre, about the car, one and a half car lengths back. Now, I could put the parking brake on here, but I've just got that at the bike with a little gas on. Another meeting situation, just letting it come past. Checking the dormer again. Not Don't like stopping, just keeping it moving very, very slow. Traffic lights is green, so they could change back. Car behind is one car length away. Nothing to the sides, I'm ready to stop here. Ready Go to stop. On. Potter's if the change now I'm going because I couldn't stop checking right and left as you go through the crossroads we've got 30 signs and I'm straight into third we've got nothing following we've got oncoming traffic pedestrian activity to the left 29 miles an hour third gear now learners when you go downhill this is a common I've seen I've had a few fields here over the years you're going downhill, you don't put your foot on the brake. If you don't put your foot on the brake, it's going to pick up speed. So I'm at 30 miles an hour, foot goes on the brake. Went to 31, but quickly went back to 30. So 30 now feels very, very slow. I've gone down to 28, checking the mirror. There's a car behind, it's about one and a half bus lengths back. We've got nobody overtaking, nothing coming down the left hand side of the car. And I'm just doing 27 miles an hour because it's bit bendy, can't really see that much. My observations are in very good. So the road, the After brow of the hill. Hundred yards, go right on the roundabout and take the second exit, Quarry Heads Lane. So then bear left. See, turn, turn right, ahead. second exit. And I'm going to use this skill that no learner can do. Well, some of them. So it's middle right dormer. The car behind the bus said back signal brake. Right on the second gear, take the second deck, bring it up and hold, then, check then, it to the right position, going to across the road, keeping right as I go around, there's number one, so I check the left door mirror, nothing come around the left lane, another check and signal to leave the roundabout, oh it's nice and quiet, position activity on the right hand side, mirror check when I straighten up, got the warning sign there for the school but it's sat here, park cars to the right with the road bend and left, speeds at 26 miles per hour, it's lovely and smooth, after traffic 200 yards, bear left, Church Street head. Traffic lights, you should see a turn left. The lights on green, I'm ready to stop. So check the middle left door mirror. And I'm just looking for a lovely smooth stop. So you see that sign learners, it says wait here until green light shows. So just put the parking brake on and put it in your own. Now the best learner drivers I see are the ones that 
drive smoothly, the coordination of the hands, feet, the eyes, just everything's so smooth. But when you're driving aggressively, the clutch comes up quickly, you're ragging the life out, the gear leaves, you brake harsh, your head movements all over when you check mirrors. It just isn't good. It's not good driving skills. So my top tip for you as learners is to, in the early lessons, develop all the basic car control skills, drive nice and smooth, and you will be a really skillful driver. So while we're sitting here, I'm waiting for my lights going to change. I'm just looking in the left door mirror. There's no cyclists. Looking in the right door mirror, I can't see really much anything there because the car behind is more to the right. So I'm just sitting waiting, waiting patiently until these lights change. We've got a bit of pedestrian activity behind us. So when I knew I was going to be here a long time, I put the parking brake on, put in neutral, and the car cuts out. Um, examiners like to say you do that when you know you're going to be waiting a while. I suppose it helps with pollution, wear and tear on the engine and fuel economy. I suppose can't imagine you would save that much fuel. But if you've got the part, if you've got the stop-start technology, and you're going to be sitting there a while, the examiners would prefer if you would put the handbrake on, put in neutral. It must be your next, surely. There's the light changes. I'm just checking that left door mirror and the handbrake went off a little bit gas clutch. I'm telling this car I'm turning left and just looking at the road as I come around. We've got a pedestrian crossing so I just cover that brake. Don't know why they're crossing there. Now we've got pedestrian activity and oncoming traffic. Speeds at 80 miles now we're going through here. Just nice and slow. We've got warning signs tells the school up ahead. We've got signs to the left more pedestrian activity. And we also have a zebra crossing. So I'm checking my middle mirror. This guy behind's about one and a half car lengths back. It's a bit close, but scanning the crossing, looking both sides. We've got a pedestrian to the left, checking the mirrors. Yeah, just clutch goes down a little bit, brake on, and just roll it into first gear. And then I just check my mirrors and gas clutch, nice and smooth. Learners don't like scanning crossings, the amount of pupils after dual because they don't scan. So I keep my speed down because I'm only giving these cars what foot and a half. I've got them at 16 miles per hour. I've got a little refuge there. Don't get rid of people then, but be ready to stop. Got the brow of the hill. Check my mirror. That car's about one not still one and a half car lengths back. Now the lights on red. We have a yellow box junction. So I cannot enter that till I can get out of it. And the lights on red still, so I check my all mirrors and I'm looking for a lovely smooth stop. Stop looking for the solid white line. Parking brake goes on, gear lever in neutral, and the rest my ballerina feet. So while I'm waiting for these lights to change, which I've just done, turn brake straight off. To minimize roll, I just go gas clutch. Straight the gears, pedestrian activity on the left hand side, motorbike three on a pro uh, on coming. Mirror check car behind is beyond about two and a half car lengths back. Another yellow box junction. Pedestrian crossing is clear. I shouldn't expect that to change. The next set of lights are on red. So I'm checking my middle mirror again. Car's well back. One up was left. 300 yards, go left on the roundabout and take the second exit, A690. This is road. So I'm looking for the lovely smooth stop. Now, the sat nav said on the roundabout, go left, second exit. So I do not signal left because it said second exit. Back up lights gone to green. All mirrors again. Handbrake off and just gas clutch up and hold. Use the learners pulling off on clutches. You should be lined up against the wall and shot. So we're going straight ahead. It's that second exit. So lights on red. Mirrors again. The car to my left behind is moving to the right. We're looking for a lovely smooth stop. Clutch goes down first and then the brake because I'm not going that fast. I'm leaving enough room behind this car. So if it breaks down, I've, I've left enough room to get around. It is on a little bit of a hill. Uh, if you get too close, you get minor falls. You can't get a seat, you get really close. And I'll, while I'm sitting waiting again for the light, I'm setting up said second exit After so there's 40 no yards, signals. Go left on the roundabout and take the second exit, A690. This is road. So I looked in the left door right there. I've got a motorbike behind it, signal left, so I don't think it's going to follow go me. Left on the roundabout and take the second exit. So I'm in the third. We're on a 40 road past the signs back there. Narrow road, so I'm doing 25 miles now because of the traffic in front. 
After 300 yards, go right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit, A691, Framwell Gate. So I'm looking at the sign, it says right, is it says A691, A690, so it says I can use the left lane by the road number. I was looking at the sign as soon as it told me where to go. So when you have the choice of lanes to turn right, it's much safer to pick the left go lane. right on the roundabout and take the fourth exit. So I don't know why it said fourth exit because there's only three exits. So the examiner would just jump in there and say, look, it's only the third exit. So I'm turning right third exit. I'm picking the left lane because the sign said I could. And the road marking's now in front of this car so I can pick the left lane. I'm not going to put the signal on too early because I don't want to come fuzzle of the road users think I want to move in the right lane so I'm going to delay the signal now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to keep left all the way around I'm going to go all the way around the left lane learners will drift into the middle lane and fail so you make sure if you choose the left lane here then you need to keep left so looking at them dumber is no no two wheelers come up left and right hand sides put the signal on now keeping left as I go around lovely and smooth well over to the left check my right dome room see the taxi coupe the van come behind I check middle left signal to leave the roundabout I've got the van on my right just anticipating of cutting across have another car on my right so I'm not going to speed up I'm just going to let these go in now the roads coming into one so I'm checking my right dome I do have a car but it's about both length away so we've got warning signs telling us road works up ahead some anticipating cones or whatever signs saying the road now is on the left speeds of 31 then we've got corn so i check my right door mirror I've got the van behind and it's about three quarters of what's under the way i'm into fourth gear at 34 miles per hour we're looking well ahead and listen to the sat nav a lot of corns up here and let's have a look just still got oncoming traffic got lots of corns no lights i'm just listening to it. i can see the roundabout sign well ahead After so i'm listening yards, to the sat nav go left on the roundabout and take the second exit, A691, Southfield Way. Now it says turn left, second exit, so there's no signal. I'm looking for the corn end, corn ending, so I can move back to the left. Check my left door, nothing come down there. Just put a signal because he's really close road behind, road and, and then the let it cancel. Exit. So I've gone into signal, look the right, clear to go. There's the first exit, mirror and signal to leave the roundabout. Now, we're on a 40 road still, so I'm just going to make a bit progress because it's lovely and clear. I'm up to 38 miles per hour, and we've got the roundabout sign. The again, the sat nav is wrong. Way. It's the second exit, so again, the exam will probably help me out. So it's a mirror check, car behind the bus left the way. Just Cross take the, the foot off the gas. And take the first exit. Not going to use the brakes. Second gear, clutch up and hold. Look at 12 and 3 o'clock. There's no road marking, so I'm keeping left. Keep well left. Let's go around. Check the middle and right door mirror. And then cancel the signal. Well, I just put the lane change the signal on there. Now I've got blue light, so. After 300 yards, I don't know where they're coming go from. Left on the roundabout and take the first exit, A167. So it says left first exit. So I check the middle and left door mirror. Well, I do have the blue lights, but the well back down the road, they're coming this way. Go left on the roundabout. So and take the signal first again. Exit. Just drop that in a second, couple of bus lanes back. Now I'm looking to my right. Now I can see the lemon come round, so I'm just gonna do the roll in first. Now I'm just gonna sit still and let this bus yeah, bus. The blue lights get past. I'm not really gonna move off. So I'm looking to my right, see there's a big gap. Just get on the gas and go. Straight at gears. Now we can see the roads ending. Dual carriage going into once I check middle right door there's no one overtaking. I can see the cars in front braking for their blue lights. Let's just get on the brake there. We've got the road bending to the left and this car on the right. Um, nobody's overtaking us. We've got a few motorbikes behind so them, they like to overtake every now and again. So we're on a 40 mile per hour road. Got signs telling you two way traffic pedestrian activity on the left. You've got an island refuge, just covering the brake as I go down because I like to keep it a good two second gap. Got a staggered cross junction there, just checking to see if they would pull out of them. Got your walkers, Shreya likes that, Shreya likes to walk. So we've got a lovely speed 37 miles per hour. 
cyclist, oh, they're on the pavement, aren't they? Damn, so check my mirrors. Now, you can go in these hatch markings to overtake cyclists if it's safe to do so. If there was a cyclist there, I'd expect my lens to just check the mirrors and go straight around. And you wouldn't be messing about there because there's loads of room to get past. And we have a sign saying keep left of thy refuge. We have warning signs well ahead saying traffic lights. I can see the cars overhead breaking, so I check my mirror. I just cover mine, just gently breaking now. Breaking very early, very light, no heavy braking. It's a bad driver when you brake heavy. Poor driving skills. I'm um, just looking for a lovely smooth drive. I've dropped that into third gear. Lights on green. I'm expecting these lights to change back to red. So I'm checking where the car behind is a bus length away. So I think I could stop safely. So I'm just covering the brake, ready to stop. Ready to stop. Now, if they change now, then I can't stop. I'm just going to go through because there's enough time. You can see the cars in front ahead braking, so I check my mirror and cover that brake again. Pedestrian crossing up ahead, checking to the sides, nothing overtaken. Scanning it, there's nobody walking towards it, there's nobody standing there, so this shouldn't really change. Um, 28 miles an hour. Now, the examiner would tell you now to move into the right lane. Well, I tell my pupils, so I'm going to, I'm going to wait till the sat nav gives it. Yards. Turn right. right, so it's check my middle right door mirror. There's, oh, look at this. I'm going to put the signal on. There's a motorbike, but he's, he's about oh, two bus lengths away and he wasn't getting any bigger, so I knew it was safe to move over. I'll cancel that because I don't want to think I'm turning there. Again, looking for the lovely smooth stop. Parking brake goes on the gear leaving neutral. My lights has just changed to green. Now, it's a green arrow, it means I can drive straight around. I've got two motorbikes behind. So I'm very wary of them because they do like to overtake you. Second gear, check the mirrors again, signal goes on. Now again, I'm ready to stop. Now if they change now, I'm not stopping. It's a green arrow, so I just go straight round. Check my middle mirror when I straighten up. Got a car in front braking. I put that into third gear. We're going downhill, you've got 30 signs, the cars up uh, front are braking again, so I'm only doing 25, so I just cover the brake as I go down. A couple of motorbikes behind now, they're keeping back a little bit now. The first one's about a bus length, the second one about one half bus lens. Got my speed at 29 miles an hour, foot on the brake all the way down, got parked cars to the left. Watch for doors open up, watch for cars moving off without warning, check the mirrors. Cross the roundabout and take the first exit. A690. And we've got a van parked on left with the door open. Mirror checks again, safe. Just covering the brake here. It said follow the road ahead. Now I'm looking well ahead. I can see the block is at 12 o'clock. I'm just dropping that into second gear. Check the mirrors. I'm going to put a signal on for left to tell that yellow car where I'm going. Now the yellow car will drive onto the roundabout because he knows where I'm going. Just the signal help them drive onto the roundabout. Third gear, 40 signs, mirror check, nothing behind. I can see all the traffic for head braking. So just foot off gas, nice and smooth. Just looking at them mirrors. Car behind is about four bus lengths back, so don't have to worry about that one. Yeah, I'm keeping a nice gap. I've got about two and a half seconds here. Only a fool breaks the two second rule. So yeah, that's about two and a half seconds. Nice gap. 30 signs up ahead. Road bend left. Car to my left. Oncoming traffic quite a bit behind. Car and two motorbikes. And I'm at 28 miles an hour keeping a lovely gap. You've got a warning sign saying there's road equipment. Road works meant people dig in. After 300 yards, turn right, front street, no. then turn This right. is where Shreya failed. Shreya. You have my sympathies because I feel a lot of here pupils here on the mock test. So it said turn right, it's exam test is just under the bridge, middle right door mirror, signal. Now it's got hatch markings, right. they're surrounded by a broken white line, so you've got to enter them if it's safe to do so. If I don't go in these, then I'm going to get a serious fault. Now, Shree didn't go in, she didn't position like this, she positioned over the left, and you can see the traffic going past me. If I'd positioned to the left, I would have blocked all that traffic. Now I can see my gap, check my right door mirror, balance the gas and clutch, handbrake off, and then looking from a turning point, just turn. But that's where Shreya failed. She should have went in the hatch mark, and she didn't. And that's why the examiner gave a serious fault for junctions turning right. So mirrors, left, middle left. left signal. 
It's looking tight. It does very deceiving corner this one. I think I can get round in second. Normally the tight ones I'd go around in um, first. Mirror check. Got a nice clear road. You got a car up ahead pulling out from my left. Oncoming traffic one. Taxi behind is about three bus lengths away. Nothing to the sides. So I'm at 28 miles per hour. And yeah, for the three, there's a few places I can see Len is failing. But she's done, she has done well, bless her, but still come back to haunt you Shreya damn it's painful I still feel the pain so we're on the 30 road I can see 40 signs the road's bending left just keep my car in the middle of the lane check my mirrors nothing behind nothing overtake nothing to the side so I'm gonna accelerate a little bit because it's a little bit clear so I've just got myself to 40 miles an hour there and um, looking for a change in back to 30 if it comes into a build up area so mirrors and just scanning down the left and right hand sides I can see the 30s I'm not using any brake I'm just going to drop that into third pedestrian on the right hand side there's no danger there got park cars riding pedestrian kids and one bikes over there so I've just took the foot off the gas I can see the white triangle so I'm just going to put that into second for the speed bump I'm trying to keep the wheel either side of the speed bump so it's more comfortable for your passengers and learners so I'm back into third Again, oncoming traffic, traffic behind him, he's about a half a bus length away, I'm not braking because I'm going uphill, I'm just going to put that in a second, bring the clutch up hole at the driving point, as I say, keep the wheel either side, you've got warning signs to the left, park cars to the right, and we've got slow road on the road, we've got staggered junctions here, we've got a pedestrian crossing the road, so just check if there's enough gas, just let him get past, looking for the white triangle, wheel either side, park cars to the left, middle right down, we're to move out. Now I can see the learner coming down. I'm getting there first, so I'm just going to go through. After Taking the foot off the gas. Yards, turn left. Yeah, I'm avenue. just going to come over to the left. Check my mirrors to move out. And um, look my head, it says turn left. It's where that car's come out of. Foot off gas again. Just as I don't want to wreck my suspension on my car. So I check the middle left door mirror. Signal. Turn left. Checking mirrors again, there's no cyclists coming up with bikes from the left hand side, just following the curb around with my eyes. When I straighten up, check my middle mirror, third gear. Pedestrian activity, dog walker on the left, uh, oncoming traffic one, park car to the right, junctions to the right, clear. Nothing following, nothing to the sides. Learner driver giving way to me while they're good. Again, staggered junctions, all clear, pedestrian activity on the right hand side, speeds at 25 miles an hour, third gear, We're only doing about 20, 26, 27 hours, just want to keep the speed down, because we're going downhill, let's go around a bend, so just check my mirrors again, looking well ahead, you've got a warning sign for cyclists, you've got... After 300 yards, turn left, A690, north view, then... Turn right. 300 yards, so I'm checking my mirrors. We've got park cars on the right hand side. No, it says 300 yards, so use learners put the signal on far too early when turn left and think you're pulling up. So I'm going to delay the signal, check my mirrors. There's a little side road there, so I'm going to put it on when I'm level. Signal clutch goes down, I'm looking for the turn lovely left, smooth stop. Turn right. Steering around with a roller first, looking right, left, right. See a gap, just gas, clutch up and go. Second gear, mirror check, nothing following. Said turn right to and check right, the mirrors. Pop the signal on, going where the right turns protect. And now looking well down the road, I can see it's clear, looking for the turning point. And I just start to steer. Lovely and smooth. Check my middle mirror, all mirrors, nothing behind, nothing to the sides. I'm in the third gear. A lot of park cars to the right, oncoming traffic three. Check, just take the foot off the gas. Keep it nice and smooth. Um, again, oncoming traffic, park car left, pedestrian activity. Check my mirrors again, just covering the brake now. Less space means less speed. I feel I can get through there, but I'm just reducing the speed. And more park cars, you've got this white car on the left, might pull up in front of me. Checking the mirrors again, looking for possible meeting situation. Now I'm going to give them a meet. There's plenty of room, there's nothing, no oncoming traffic. There's nobody in the cars by the looks of it. Just having a quick glance in the mirrors, safe to move back. Don't know why I do that, I don't teach my lens to do that. So I'm covering the brake there because I could feel it picking up speed. We've got the national speed limit. I'm gonna give After another mirror check. Yards, turn left, 
St John's Road. Now I'd normally speed up but because it just said turn left well it's pointless speeding up. So I checked my middle left door mirror, nothing to the sides, the car behind's about four bus lengths we here. Brake and signal, keeping the brake still, turn select left. the second gear, clutch comes up and I hold it the driving point to give me that lovely smooth gear change, check that left door mirror again and god this is smooth, this is the best I've driven in months. Check my mirrors when I straighten up. In the third gear, you got the one sign telling me there's a sharp bend to the left. Mirror checks again, nothing behind, nothing to the sides. 30 miles an hour, foot comes off the gas as I go around the bend. I'm not using any brake. Keeping a lovely dry position, I'm not drifting into the right like these learners do. And background, we've got park cars to the left and right. Middle right door mirror, lovely and smooth. 27 miles an hour, After couple of measures to the right. Turn right, Whitfield. 200 court. yards. Then take the second right. So that's the first one. Check the middle right door mirror. Signal. Just cover that right. brake. Then take Bring the, the clutch right. up in second gear, holding as I go around. Off the brake, off the clutch, and just steering lovely and smooth. And then he examines his then you take right. the next right. Then Turn left. So mirrors and signal are just clutch down and brake. Just rolling that in the first, it looks very tight. Bring the clutch up slowly. Pop the signal on. Now when you come near learners, Turn just left. swing wide. You have reached your Go right over to the right hand side like that and then pick any bay you want. You have reached your so I'll put the clutch down, I'm covering the brake. And I've just come in lovely and smooth. I had to bring the clutch back up a little bit gas. Straighten up and stop. Handbrake goes on. In the neutral, then you rest your feet, and the examiner said to Shreya, Would you like your instructor presence? So she said, Yes. Yeah. So the door opener come over, and Craig says, I'm sorry, you haven't passed. He says, You've got two serious falls. He says, The first one goes down. He says, You went in the right lane, you went back to the left lane, then went back to the right, so went down his lane discipline. And he said, When you were turning right, at just under the bridge where the motorbike shop was, he says, You didn't position your car properly, and you blocked all the traffic from behind. Very painful. Now, I'd been driving there, he said, congratulations, Ken, that's a lovely drive. Could I see your license, please? And he's saying, yes, get in. Shreya, I'm coming back to haunt you.